Hi, this is DH Dunn, and I have a book coming out today, and so I thought it would be fun to do a little Baldur's Gate 3 and um, just kind of just very, very chilled out, very relaxed Baldur's Gate 3 uh, run with uh, one of my One More Turn characters. So this is not the book that is coming out today. This is the first book in the series. The second book, uh, An Axe to Grind, does come out today. Uh, there'll be links in the description. It is on Amazon. Uh, you can get it in paperback, Kindle Unlimited, ebook. Um, book one was in hardcover, so um, I guess maybe we'll do book two in hardcover. I don't know. That's up to the publisher. But um, I am currently writing one more turn three right now, and Baldur's Gate was an enormous. Um, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 were very, very important games for me. They're some of my two favorite games of all time. I actually had completely written one more turn one before Baldur's Gate 3 came out, but they fit together so well because this is turn-based combat, both the game and the book. The book has fantasy characters going on a, uh, basically, a dungeon rescue mission. And inside the dungeon, they discover that time is frozen but they have gems that allow them 30 seconds of movement before the gems have to recharge and that basically creates turns and there are ability scores and classes and they end up living in, in kind of a turn-based world uh while they try to rescue the guy who put them in prison so uh it's it's a lot of fun i really wanted to have a fun you know team team goes into a dark situation book so and that's this story too so i'm gonna try to make bog um the main character of the series is eris tarn Erisfall. um but uh the cover girl if you will for this book is bog all the all the characters are in all the books but and tarn is always the main pov character the main point of view character but uh, I wanted to highlight bog we've done bog on twitch so i'm gonna do bog on youtube and we're just gonna goof around for an hour or so Fair warning, this game is amazing. It deserves all of the hype, all of the credit that it is getting. It is so top to bottom, well done, and um, uh, so much care is taken. And it is a character first story, which is what I personally resonate with. Um, the beginning is very dark. I attempted to do a warning there and, and couldn't word it correctly. Uh, there are a few scenes here at the beginning movie that are a little intense in terms of um, uh, uh, creepy creepiness. So just a fair warning. The game itself, tone-wise, is up and down in that area, but it really is about the friendship between the people, which is what I always like. All right, let's get into it. We're going to do a new game. We're going to do balanced. And if you guys resonate with this, then hey, I'll continue it. But for, day, for today, this is just a fun little, hey, I got a book coming out and I'm going to enjoy it and not be all scared about it because it can be scary to release a book, I'll, I'll tell you. And I'll be quiet during the cutscene.
Yuck. <laughs> so that's the start. Who are you? Uh, don't reset the tutorials. I don't want to do it. Okay, so we could take a ton of time on character creation. Um, instead, what I think I will do is talk about character creation while I work on the character. So we are doing Bog. Bog is an orc. Uh, we don't have orcs available in the game. We do have half orcs, so it's close enough. Um, and uh, Bog is basically Tarn's best friend, despite the fact that uh, the people of Tarn's nation and the orcs are have been at war for centuries at this point. And um, Bog was captured by uh, the human armies and uh, her mind was erased. So she has no memory. In fact, she doesn't even know her real name. She has no memory of who she was before. She was just a soldier on the battlefield and got captured and her brain wiped out. And uh, she has a very fun personality despite that though, which I really, really like. I enjoy Bog a lot. She, um, she likes to sing badly. She likes to cook badly um and she just loves life and she really is not angsty about her former life she doesn't she's like i'm me now and um and uh i i i, I find her to be a, a really fun character and a good viewpoint of sometimes you have to look at where you are um and i like to explore stuff like that in writing so um and and as i said she's tarn's uh, best friend tarn is a orphan and uh, a runaway, and he ran away from the, the human nation in in these books is fairly dystopian, um, and uh, very much under the control of one guy, the Archmage Lurim. And Tarn ran away from the city, ran away from the or orphanage, and kind of ran into Bog, uh, being transported from one prison campsite to another, and freed her. And the two of them then went off on adventures and found more friends and eventually got themselves thrown in prison. And that's how the book starts, with Tarn being broken out of prison to rescue the Archmage, the very person who put him in prison. And uh, that's the hook of the story. So Barbarian fits very well with the class that Bog plays in the book. She is a bruiser which is a uh, melee DPS class uh, in, in the, the system that's present in one more turn. Barbarian is, is definitely the closest to that. So we're going to stick with Barbarian. Um, her background. I know her background. And eventually, if you read the books, you will know her background. But that is, comes more in the book that's coming out today. Right now, I think we're going to give her criminal because she's breaking out of prison. So that gives her stealth and deception. That's not very exciting. Though. That's not necessarily that useful in terms of her skills. I should maybe move my camera to somewhere a little less obtrusive for the moment. Maybe we'll go over here. All right. Um, an outlander? Athletics and survival is not bad. That feels pretty appropriate. She and Tarn and their buddies Earthen, uh, who is a monk, and then Lash, who's a tiny little gremlin, uh, the four of them have been this little band of mercenaries before they got thrown in prison uh, for uh, a couple years. And so, yeah, I think living out on the wild, pretty good. Uh, I know these abilities could be better than they are. The only thing I'm going to do, because I know this now about Baldur's Gate 3, is that an odd number does nothing for you. So we either can drop, we can drop something down to a 14 to get her up to an 18 strength, but I don't think they let you do that. So you might as well drop this to 16. And can you drop, bring constitution to 16? That's good, that's good. Um, yeah, we'll just go with these. Uh, this is more more for fun than, than uh, trying to power game our way through. Um, the only thing we need to do is, is her look. So let's see. Um, trying to get a little closer to what we have on the cover. Um, I think probably that, but the skin color, they don't, oh, can we have all, oh, we can have everything, because she's more, she's more of a blue skin, yeah, and 
the the amount of uh, detail here is really fun uh, in terms of the stuff you can do with the uh, with the character creation. Let's look for body art. I wish I had the cover in front of me. I can probably have it on screen right now, but I can't have it in front of me. Uh, I mean, I could have put it up on another computer, but this is a very impromptu. Hey, let's do a video. I've got an hour. Um, that's kind of cool. That's kind of intense. I like those. That's kind of sharp. I like that. All right. I think we'll go with that. So many options. So many options. Um, do we want it to be a different color, though? Um, those are all kind of intense, I think. Oh, you can drop the intensity, though. Now, that's kind of cool. Or even a, a red. We up the, in uh, that's a bit pink. We up the intensity a bit more. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. All right, we'll go with that. Um, so now we just need hair. And then we're good. No matter how many hairstyles games give you, you always want more. Always want more. Um, so as far as the character of Bog, what's really funny is that um, she started out without the name. And in my notes, she was just Big Orc Girl. Because I knew, basically the idea was that it's the A-Team. So it's, you know, if you're old like me, then you know the A-Team. So it's Hannibal... Uh, the leader, that's Tarn. There's Face, uh, Murdoch, and B.A., Mr. T. And I was like, okay, it would be fun if the Mr. T character was female instead of male. That's just that's just fun. Okay, how about an orc? A big orc. A big orc girl. Okay. We'll just call her big orc girl in the notes until I give her a name. And I started abbreviating that to Bog. And then I started liking the idea that her name was Bog, but then I needed a reason. Why would her name be Bog? Why would it, maybe she doesn't know her name. Oh, okay. And then I started going with that and, and kind of, okay, why doesn't she know her name? She doesn't know her name because her memory's been erased. Yes. And that's how I write is a lot of asking myself questions and then coming up with interesting answers. I really do need to go look at the cover quick. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. I may edit this. Depends on how ma how much editing do I want to do on this thing is the question. This is supposed to be very casual. Maybe I'll leave this in. You guys, I might have even put the cover on screen, but let me see. Now I got it. Now I got it. Yeah, okay. So it's much more dark and her skin is much more purple. Okay, so the hair, black. Okay. Confirm. And the highlights... Oh, uh, the highlight intensity is off, so it's not really doing anything. All right. And maybe we go back to the general for a second, and we get the skin a bit more into the purple. There we go. All right, I think that's good. You can always modify your, uh, your appearance later. Let's proceed. So this is Bog. The game might complain because I already have a Bog. Nope, don't care who this is. This is fine. Um, no problem. That's good. Again, I won't talk during the cutscene. I will say I love everything about how the Mind Flayer ship works. How it's symbiotic with the Mind Flayer. He moves his hands and things happen on the ship. And This whole opening sequence is just really well done. It reminds me a bit of the Dungeons & Dragons movie, the, the one that just came out with Chris Pine. Haven't seen it. That movie's a lot of fun. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it.
all so well done. All this interdimensional travel and the dragons and all of it is just really, really cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Alright, so we're waking up. That's not us. She's ready for action. So, one of the things that makes Bog a lot of fun to write. My head. Oh, I forgot to set her voice so well. Um, is that she has a ton of curiosity and very little um, uh, caution. She so likes, you know, if there's a button, she's going to push it. If there's a door, she's going to open it. Behind your eye. So we investigate the pool, of course. We roll. We need a 10. We got a 1. <laughs> Very good roll to start things off. We got a 1. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Well, let's let's touch it. Whoops. Okay. Well, that'll happen. All right, I think there's actually maybe a way to heal in here. Maybe that's in another room. Oh, no, it's over here. Go touch this. Try not to get set on fire on your way there, please. Thank you. I don't like your voice, but they don't have an orc voice option. Um, this is probably not where I want to be. No, we need to go this way. That's not gross at all. <laughs> but very imaginative. Coming up with new worlds and new places and all of that is always an interesting challenge. I give them a lot of credit for the great job that they did here. Uh, I'm gonna skip us. Either you know what I'm talking about or you don't, but that's a bit gruesome for this, for my intended purposes here. I'd rather just get on with it. Let's make a friend. Black is 
blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. All right. Uh, my camera is now blocking the uh, dialogues, so I will move up here. Let's see. Uh, what would Bog say? Why do you think I was a throng? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Okay, not good. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. Okay, then let's go kick some butt. What do you want to do? Uh. First, we exterminate the Yep. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. All right, hit things. Got it. That's what I like to do. Attacker! Creepy. Okay, time for some good old-fashioned turn-based combat. I love it. All right, um, Lazel, which is who this is. This is Lazel. Let's hop over here, if you can. Taking position. Thank you. And uh, give it a little schmackaroony here. Uh, let's go. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay, that guy's down. Well done. We will end your turn. Survival is all that matters. Now, Bog can't reach this. Per okay, Bog can reach this one. But just for fun, I'm, I'm jumping. That that's the very first thing Bog does in combat in in one more turn is she jumps. Well done. Head over to Lazel. We'll let this one guy do his little thing. He missed. And Lazel, you want to wrap this up? Nice. Okay. All done. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Adequate? I'm freaking awesome. Now, to the helm. Uh, first, I would like to make sure if these guys have any goodies that we pick them up. I don't think Bog would be much of a loot goblin. Um... I have a good friend of mine, Very Tiny Burb, who has taught me the value of looting in this game. Just obsessively looting everything, you get so much money. And a character like Bog has a huge carry capacity, so you're not going to run into inventory issues. Alright, let's get out of here. Neither of us got hurt, so we don't need to heal. Just climb up this uh, arterial time. mesh. That's fun. So we're trying to get off the ship before it um, gets destroyed by the dragons that are attacking it. And um, there's some parallels between that and some book three plots I'm working on. I'll give it a shot. Right now. Bog is probably the secondary main character of book two. The book that is releasing today is as much about Bog as it is about Tarn. And I really enjoyed her character arc with this. Um, do I want to push? But yeah, we push buttons. Whoops. I woke some dudes up. And they're all evil. How dare you punch me? Take a chop. Goodbye. No choice but to keep going. Bog, can you jump? Yes, you can jump. Uh, seems like the best way. Uh, you may not be able to get there though. Nah, poopy. Okay, we'll let them come to you. Oh, how dare you! But we saved. Is there a third? No, it's just this guy, huh? I don't think you can get to him now. All right, Bog, carve him up. 
Can we rage? Let's rage. Raging, I believe, lets her do extra damage, but she also takes extra damage. There we go. Well done, well done. All right. Um. Oh, someone's talking. Let's go check it out. Yeah, that's no, that's no way to ask service. for help. Yeah, just rip it open, Bog. Ah, oh. I like that she tried. This though. ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? No, but it could be an ally. Don't give up. Yes, just keep going. Tear this thing open. I wonder if she rolls a twenty if she actually gets it. Uh, she's got a plus three bonus. We need a ten. Natural twenty. How about that? Nice. <laughs> I love it. Wop. She's all zappy. Oh, she's shocked. Okay. Can we talk to you? Yes. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. You're welcome. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. Oh, her. She's a gift. Dangerous company. I am dangerous company. Dangerous company is what you need. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Sounds good. Let's do this thing. Let's get going. I'm Bog. Shadowheart. One moment. Very unsuspicious. <laughs> what was that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. Okay. You're the boss. She's right. Lead on. Bog doesn't want to be the boss. Um, okay, let's see. So we're just gonna we're doing the let's express version of this. When does this shocked wear off? Three more seconds, huh? Oh, wait, goodies, 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 goodies. Pick it up. It's locked. Just take it. More for me. We'll open it later. Grab that. Brain in a jar, sure. Okay, you can't take that, huh? Okay. Continue forward. Bog is so much fun to write. Uh, both, but I mean, all the characters are fun to write. I don't want to interrupt the dialogue. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Ladies, let's work together here. I'm sure that was a compliment. But she's a lot of fun to write dialogue for because she's got this big personality. Nice. I guess. Who am I rooting for in this fight? I don't know. Those guys put worms in our eyes, so we don't like them. But these other guys don't seem good either. Well, he's not wrong about us needing to escape. Do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, we have 15 turns to get this done. I think we can pull this off. We need to get out of here now. 
Uh, I need to jump and hit this thing because it looks amazing. Look at this doggy. What are you? Let's examine you. You are a hell's boar. Aww. He's cute. <laughs> He's cute with his little armored head. <laughs> well, it's time for some bacon. Prepare. Sacrifice 20 movement speed to deal an additional three. Is that an action? I never, I've never used this. If I use this, I probably can't do anything if I do this. Yeah, um, I can't tell. Damn it. That, oh, no, I can. I can still hit. All right, let's go. I need eight. We did 28. <laughs> Yep, that's Bog, all right. Bit of an overkill. Give up. Uh, let's see. Shadowheart, how about one of your guiding bolts? Very cool. Very cool. Everybody show off your cool stuff. Victory awaits. All right, Lazel, you do get to shoot. You've got a bow. Why don't you use that? Oh, what is this? Astral knowledge? I don't think that's going to help me. Hit this guy. Nice. He's not dead, though. Ah, you missed. Alright, Bob. Keep going. Um, what is this here? Cleave. Attack up to three enemies at once. I probably won't have the opportunity to do that. Hit him. Cutting to the chase. Dead. Carving a path through these guys. You guys just run after me. I got this. I like that guy's voice. Continue. We're supposed to get to this thing. Okay, there it is. Hurry before they strike. Well, I'm out of movement. Uh -oh. oh, more dudes. My faith will protect me. Have to keep going. I kind of doubt anybody's in range for her, but we could try this guiding bolt again. Oh, this guy might be. Nice. Good one, Shadowheart. Victory awaits. On the move. Oh. Interesting. An interesting threat. Um, I gotta jump. Always be jumping. Can I hit the guy? Yeah, I can hit the guy. Hit the pig. What do I have to lose? Damn these imps. I need to reach the transport now. Ah, we got tons of time. Keep having fun. Heading there. How about this uh firebolt? Well done. Man, we rock. Swift and lethal. Lazelle, you wanna hit this uh pig for me? Nope. Lazelle, you seem to be the weak link in this uh, situation here. Oh, how dare you. Alright. Sorry, piggy. Let's go. Let's see what this does. Um... The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. You better hurry.
Come on. Good job. You can see some of my textures haven't loaded in. So not dissimilar to Bog's arc in the books, that this person has to kind of start a new life with uh, new abilities. She wasn't a barbarian before this. She was level one. She didn't. So it's kind of similar. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Let's uh, look where we landed. She wouldn't care about her injuries. The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. All right. Um, she mind my step. Look around a bit. Hey, you're a familiar face. The thingy. Bog would 100% reach for the artifact, not to steal it, but just because she's curious. Checking if you were alive. I'm alive, yes. Thank you for the concern. And speaking of, how are we alive? It's a good question. Doesn't matter. We made it. True. Seems like we're That's the lucky exactly ones. how she would Judging look at it. The corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Same. What about the other girl? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Well, she might have just been thrown out of the ship, though. We should look for her. She might be hurt. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Uh, yeah. Do you know where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. Uh, yeah, let's do this together, though. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Well, it's a parallel from when uh, Tarn frees Bog uh, when they first met, and he could have walked away. And he didn't, so that kind of built 
a new morality system within her of wanting to help people because she had been helped. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it here. And I will save this as, um, can you name these? We'll call it uh, one more turn. Or we'll call it an ax to grind. Not an ace. I can't spell it today. There we go. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see us continue this. If I, if I see enough interest in it, I certainly will, you know, maybe do one of these a week or something. Um, ne never replacing long dark content ever, but as an additional thing. Uh, so, yeah, so one more turn, an axe to grind has released today. It's out there in paperback and an ebook and on uh, Kindle Unlimited and links are in the description. And I, if you're interested, please go check it out. And um, thank you very, either way, either way. Thank you very, very much for watching. And uh, I'll be back uh, next time with more Long Dark stuff and uh, occasionally other stuff. But that's going to do it for me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Take care of each other. I'll see you next time. And go check out one more turn. Thank you. Bye-bye.